stress thick! No! This is Patrick! What if I tell you that you can animate anything without needing a rig? Well, with a few caveats, you can. You might be aware of relative shape keys, but they have a lesser known alter name. Absolute shape keys. All you need to do to activate them is to select any object that you want to animate, go to shape keys and disable relative. What difference does it make? Well, a lot. Let's say you have to animate a character walk cycle. There would be two ways to go about it. One would be to animate straight ahead. But if you try to do that with relative shape keys, you run into a problem. You can only transition from basis to a key and back, but you can directly transition between let's say key 1 and key 2 making animating a progressive flow with more keys a lot more difficult. If alternately you try to animate pose to pose, you run into another issue. You can move from basis to key 1, but you can't directly add an in-between frame. With absolute shape keys, you can solve both of these problems. For starters, you can easily add keyframes in succession by selecting the previous key and selecting new shape key from mix, allowing you to duplicate any previous keys and also giving you the ability to easily transition between multiple keys. In addition to that, you also have the ability to easily add and manipulate any frame in between, allowing you to animate pose to pose as well. So using this method, you can easily continue adding more keyframes and adjusting in-betweens. So allowing you to directly animate your mesh however you want, sort of like claymation. And ultimately, you can end up creating animations similar to these samples. I'd like a lot! No! This is Patrick! If you do try this workflow for yourself, there are a few things that you should keep in mind. While making characters for this style of animation, keep the meshes as low fidelity as possible. And making use of modifiers such as subdivision and skin are great options because they leave you with only a few vertices which will end up as your animation controllers. Also, characters in certain art styles would work a lot better such as low poly, claymation or box model. And depending on the complexity of the characters, it might be useful to divide some of the features as separate objects to keep the animation cycles independent. Having said all of that, of course if you're working as part of a production pipeline on a feature length film, this is not the best way to go about it. But if you want to make a solo animation and need to cut down time, or maybe you want better control of your mesh for a more stylized stop motion look, then absolute shape keys are definitely worth checking out.